Hi, I'm Carissa Britton. I'm a breast oncologist from Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, and I'm here today with Vaishali, who is a second-year hematology oncology fellow at Roswell Park in New York. So thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for having me today. Pleasure to be here. Um, so tell me, uh, have you been to San Antonio before, or is this your first time being as a San Antonio? Well, Diane, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, it's exciting. It uh, tell me, kind of beyond CDK4-6 inhibitors, what are some of the studies that you've seen presented so far that have been, you know, particularly interesting to you or do you, that you think could be um, particularly practice-changing? Yeah, so I think in today's session, I saw a lot of patient-related outcomes and updates from the Destiny Breast All Night. It was a trial looking at uh, treatment for her two positive patients in first-line metastatic setting, where we looked at bringing the TDXT in the front line, which was previously done in second and third line settings, along with pertuzumab. It did have like a significant PFS benefit compared to the standard of care. So I think that was something that was interesting, but also entered on a lot of other trials in the same space. Uh, we have competing trials like the Herdukline 05, which looked at a small change in the maintenance phase compared to our standard by adding the tucatinib. So I think this was bringing the point on where do we sequence all this? Who is our ideal patient to choose what? So I think that was very interesting for me. Sure. And I think the way I look at it was like for people who had a lot of visceral disease, they had a co-mutation with a P3CA, the transducement of the can might be a better route to go down. And maybe the tucatinib with the HP maintenance for the rest of the people, hormone negative is what I was thinking. Yeah. Certainly a lot of um, new options and options for sequencing in the HER2 positive advanced breast cancer setting. Absolutely. Thank you, Oz. Um, any other studies, kind of big or small, that you've really had your eye on in the last couple of days or that you're looking forward to hearing more about otherwise? Uh, I'm not sure if we are just sticking to the HER2 positive, but I think um, I was also interested in the ascent O3 trial where uh, Satsituzumab was tried to bring into the front line for patients who were ineligible for immunotherapy or PDL one less than 10. Uh, I think that was also an interesting option as we are trying to optimize the treatment for these patients with triple negative disease and uh, try to bring the best outcomes as possible. So that was something interesting to me. And I think a lot of adjuvant trials were also interesting, bringing a lot of ADCs into the front line to better improve the outcomes. So I think that's something I'm looking forward to so that we can improve the outcomes in this space. Sure. Very exciting. Yes, it is. Great. Well, thank you for being with us. Thank um, you for having me. Of course. I hope you have a very exciting first San Antonio. It's good thank to you meet you. Thank so you much. Nice to meet you, Asper.